Hey, what's going on guys? This is Youth Man. Today, as you can see, we've got a few items that we're gonna be doing an unboxing and an overview. We've got three products here from OSD. Now, before we jump into that, I wanna give a big thanks to OSD for being a sponsor of M-Wave. They're a silver sponsor for the event that we're putting on in Lawrence, Kansas. The dates for it will be July the 22nd through the 24th. We'd love to have you guys come out and hang out with us. It's gonna be a three day weekend of shootouts. Uh, we're gonna be doing some demos, give you an opportunity to really experience some really cool things, such as putting uh, certain projectors side by side in a blind comparison, doing amplifiers the same way so that you can hear firsthand and see firsthand how these things can compare. So if you're interested in that, head over to MidwestAVExperience.com. All the details are there and we only have limited tickets. So here we've got three uh, kind of systems, technically three, not systems, but um, we've got a pair of bookshelf speakers that are active. We've got a pair of bookshelf speakers that are passive. And then down on the bottom, we've got a pretty beast of a subwoofer. It's the Travoce 15. Now this is a DSP subwoofer. 15 inch active as well as dual 15 inch passive. So I'm excited to check these out. And so this is the AB5. So the AB5 is gonna be the active ones. And then we've also got the MB5, which are passive. So the active is going to be used for things like a, a desktop setup. Maybe you're mixing um, uh, audio and you wanna have some great monitor speakers where they're kind of near field and close to you, that's what these are pretty much designed for. Be a great application. So I'll be checking these out in my home office, um, kind of see how they work for um, just casual music listening, uh, things like Tidal, or I really don't have Tidal. I've got Spotify Premium as well as Cobuzz. So I'll be doing some um, uh, comparisons there and just kind of seeing how they sound. Um, but then I'll also take this two channel setup. So the passive speakers, I'll hook it up here in the theater room uh, to my setup and I'll connect that uh, Travoce 15 and we'll see how that sounds and probably do some um, uh, demos on uh, home theater and music as well. So, all right, so I've got the active speakers unboxed. Inside the box, you'll find an owner's manual, two IEC power cables and two RCA cables. So each one of these have magnetic grills which I always am a huge fan of magnetic grills. Just makes things really, really nice. You don't have to worry about uh, grill pegs getting broken. So there's that, lay that off to the side. All right, so taking a look at the speaker, they've got a really small profile. So this is great for when you set it on a desk, it's not gonna take up your entire desk. We've got front ported, so you can actually put it up close to the wall. And then the front here is kind of angled. You can see that. Removing the magnetic grill reveals the one inch ferrofluid cooled soft dome tweeter. And then down below, we've got a five and a quarter inch composite fiberglass woofer. Down at the bottom, we've got the OSD logo flanked by front firing ports. On the rear of each unit, you'll find high frequency trim as well as low frequency trim. Now this allows you to kind of tweak the sound to your liking as well as how it interacts with your room. We've got a negative one dB, zero or plus one dB trim on the high frequencies. And then on the low frequencies, we've got a negative two all the way up to a positive two dB boost. To the right of that is our volume knob as well as unbalanced and balanced inputs. Since each speaker is powered by an internal 100 watt amplifier, we've got 75 watts going to the woofer and 25 watts going to each tweeter. And we've got a power port down at the bottom, three prong IEC, as well as your main on and off switch. And then if we take a look at the bottom, one thing I really like is they've got this pad down here. So this will keep from scratching like your desk surface or anything that you, uh, you know, place it on. So I definitely really like that. And it also helps with any kind of vibrations that the speaker might generate when playing. As far as the cabinet, these are about $400 a pair. So I'm not expecting any kind of like real wood veneer or anything. So it looks like pretty much like a vinyl wrap. Um, just a nice smooth finish. Seems pretty solid. Probably not a lot of internal bracing in there, but I'm excited to get these set up on the desktop and hear how they sound. And here we have the passive speakers, the Nero MB5. So really the only difference here is we've got a standard speaker, so there's no internal amplification. So you'll need to connect this to something like an AVR or a processor with an amplifier. 
and then we can connect those just using your standard speaker cables and the binding posts are on the rear. And lastly, we have the Travoce EQ DSP 15 inch subwoofer. And so if you've been following my channel for any length of time, you guys know I love subwoofers. Now, I love massive subwoofers. I mean, I myself have, you know, dual 18. So technically there's four 18s in my setup, two stacks. But I also appreciate value subwoofers. And so basically what we're looking at while we're unboxing this is we've got a subwoofer under $1,000, 999, and it's got a 15 inch active, two 15 inch passive subwoofers and a 1500 watt uh, peak amplifier. Now that's not continuous. Honestly, I wish they would um, have rated it with RMS, which is continuous power. Cause I really don't see a whole lot of value in, you know, saying, oh, this has 1500 watts. I'd much rather see, you know, a spec that says you know, it has 450 watts continuous power because that's really what matters. So here we have almost a hundred pound subwoofer and this is double boxed, which is always good. Looks like we've got really sufficient padding here. IEC power cable, owner's manual. And I like the woofers on that. That looks slick. Go ahead and pop off this right here. All right. Really sturdy cone. Got a nice thick surround there. So we should get quite a bit of excursion off of that. And if we turn it over to the side, we take a look at these. They have like a carbon fiber look. So I definitely like that style. That looks really cool. So looking at the finish, again, nothing super fancy here. This isn't going to be um, real wood veneer as it's a thousand dollar subwoofer. So taking a look at the back of the amp plate up at the top left We've got our power indicator. You can turn on or off the internal amp DSP We have three options for power mode You can either leave it on all the time set it to auto so where it turns on when it senses a signal or Turn it off now. We don't have a variable phase. We just have two options here zero and 180 degrees Below that, we have a variable crossover from 40 hertz all the way up to 160 hertz. Typically, I'm using an LFE input, so usually that'll bypass that crossover, but usually what I'll do is I'll turn that all the way up as high as it'll go, and that way it bypasses the internal crossover, and I set my crossovers inside my AVR or my processor. And then down at the bottom, we've got our volume or our gain. Now, one thing I did not expect is this $1,000 subwoofer does have XLR balanced inputs. So that's really great if your processor has uh, XLR output for your subs. Over on the far right, we have our low level inputs. So this is typically used when your AVR does not have a subwoofer output. So if it doesn't, you do have some options there. Then down at the bottom, we have a three prong power port, your main on and off switch as well as options for 110 or 220 volts. Here we can see a close-up shot of the active woofer and a close-up of one of the two passive radiators. Taking a closer look at the finish, it almost has a leather look. It has like a little design in it. So I actually like that. It's definitely something different that you don't typically see in a subwoofer finish. Now I'll be doing a full review of the Travoce 15 as well as the two sets of bookshelf speakers here on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed. And as always, you guys be blessed and we'll catch you in the next video.